Have you ever wondered what MERV technology in ballistic missiles is? Well, today, we're going to unravel this intriguing subject. MERV stands for Multiple Independently Targetable Reentry Vehicles. A mouthful, isn't it? But it's not as complex as it sounds. Imagine a single missile soaring through the sky, but instead of just one warhead, it carries several. Each of these warheads can be independently aimed, allowing the missile to strike multiple targets at once. This is the essence of MERV technology, a game changer in the field of defense and warfare. It's like a swarm of bees, all released from the same hive, but each with its own destination. The potential of MERV technology is immense, bringing a new dimension to strategies and tactics on the battlefield. In the next few minutes, we will delve into the intricacies of this technology and its implications. So buckle up and get ready for an exciting journey through the world of MERV technology. To understand MERV, we first need to grasp the basic concept of a ballistic missile. A ballistic missile, in essence, is a projectile that is propelled into the air and then guided towards its target. It consists of three primary components, the propulsion system, the guidance system, and the payload. The propulsion system, often a rocket motor, propels the missile into the air and towards its target. The guidance system, a complex network of sensors and computers, ensures the missile stays on course. And finally, the payload, typically a warhead, is what the missile delivers to its target. Now, this is where MERV, or Multiple Independently Targetable Re-Entry Vehicle Technology comes into play. It fundamentally transforms the payload part of the missile. Instead of housing a single warhead, a MERV-equipped missile carries multiple warheads, each capable of being directed independently towards different targets. Imagine a cluster of grapes where each grape represents a warhead. A single missile, the stem, carries this cluster into the air. Once it reaches a certain altitude, the grapes or warheads separate and begin their descent towards their targets. Each warhead, guided by its own system, can hit a different target. This makes MERV-equipped missiles incredibly efficient and deadly. But how does this work in practice? Well, the missile's guidance system has a pre-programmed flight plan, which includes the coordinates for each warhead's target. As the missile ascends, it follows this flight plan, and at the right moment, each warhead is released. Once released, each warhead activates its own guidance system, which navigates it to its target. So in essence, MERV technology transforms a single missile into a delivery system for multiple warheads, each with its own destination. This significantly increases the missile's destructive potential, making it a formidable tool in modern warfare. Now that we understand the basic mechanics, let's delve deeper into how MERV technology has revolutionized warfare. MERV technology, while fascinating, has also amplified the destructive potential of ballistic missiles. The impact of multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle, or MERV, in modern warfare can't be overstated. It's a technology that has taken the destructive power of a single missile and multiplied it manifold. The concept seems straightforward. Pack one missile with several warheads and each can be directed towards a different target. But the implications are far-reaching. Imagine the destructive power of a single ballistic missile. Now multiply that by five, six, even ten times. That's the terrifying potential of MERV. A single missile launch can lay waste to multiple geographically dispersed targets. It's a power that fundamentally changes the dynamics of warfare. But MERV technology isn't just about destruction, it's also about defense, or more accurately, overwhelming enemy defenses. Traditional anti-missile systems are designed to intercept a single incoming missile. But when faced with a MERV-equipped missile, these defenses are suddenly dealing with multiple threats simultaneously. It's like trying to swat a swarm of bees with a single swatter. The sheer number of targets makes it incredibly challenging for even the most advanced defense systems to neutralize the threat effectively. Beyond the battlefield, MERV technology has significant strategic value. The ability to strike multiple targets with a single missile presents a powerful deterrent to potential adversaries. It's a clear message. 
aggression will be met with overwhelming force. This deterrent effect is critical in maintaining a balance of power, particularly in a world where nuclear capability is increasingly widespread. However, this power comes with a heavy responsibility. The destructive potential of MIRV technology is immense and its use must be governed by the strictest of ethical and legal standards. Because ultimately, the goal of any defense technology should not be to wage war, but to prevent it. This technology, while potentially devastating, also serves as a deterrent maintaining a balance of power. So, does India possess this advanced technology, you might be wondering? Well, the answer is a resounding yes. India has made significant advancements in MIRV or multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle technology, proving its mettle on the global defense stage. Let's take a trip back to the year 2017. It was then that India successfully tested the Agni-V missile, a long-range ballistic missile equipped with MIRV technology. This was a milestone that placed India among a select group of nations with this advanced capability. Agni-5, with a range of over 5,000 kilometers, is capable of delivering multiple warheads to different targets or saturating a single target, providing a formidable deterrence. But what does this mean for India's defense capabilities? A lot, actually. The Agni-V is not just a missile. It's a symbol of India's growing prowess in the field of defense technology. With MIRV technology, India can ensure the protection of its vast territories and maintain peace and stability in the region. The adoption of MIRV technology is a game changer for India. It allows for a more efficient use of resources as multiple warheads can be deployed from a single missile. This means fewer missiles need to be produced, stored and maintained, leading to cost savings. Furthermore, the ability to strike multiple targets with a single missile greatly enhances strategic flexibility in warfare. India's success in MIRV technology also sends a strong message to the world. It demonstrates that India is not just a nation that can defend itself, but also a significant player in the field of global defense technology. It's a testament to the country's technological prowess, its strategic foresight, and its commitment to maintaining peace and security. So, to come back to our original question, yes, India does indeed possess this advanced technology. And it's not just about having it, it's about how it's being used to bolster defense capabilities, promote peace, and ensure the security of the nation and its people. India's strides in MIRV technology have undoubtedly strengthened its position in the global defense landscape. In conclusion, MIRV technology has reshaped the face of modern warfare. We've delved into the intricate technical aspects of multiple, independently targetable re-entry vehicles, or MIRV, a technology that has transformed ballistic missiles into more efficient, lethal, and strategic weapons. MIRV empowers a single missile to carry multiple warheads, each capable of striking a different target, amplifying its destructive potential exponentially. We've also shed light on how India, a rising global power, has embraced this technology. Through the development and deployment of MIRV-equipped missiles, India has elevated its defense capabilities, establishing a robust deterrence against potential threats. However, it's equally important to remember the immense responsibility that accompanies such advancements. While MIRV technology brings with it a significant enhancement in defense capabilities, it also carries the weight of responsibility and the hope that it will serve as a deterrent rather than a tool of destruction.